So you want to add an option to mute your audio in your game? In this video we will take a look at how you can easily achieve this. The source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful please subscribe. So let's dive in. So start by opening up Godot and I'm gonna make a new scene and I'm gonna make this a user interface scene. But it doesn't really matter what scene you make. Next we want to add a checkbox and you can do so by hitting the plus button or control A and searching for check and you want to add a checkbox. And here in the middle you can set the preset for the anchor and I'm gonna center it. And now we have our checkbox. And let's enter in the text property of the checkbox. We will enter master and this will be the master volume. And you may be wondering what master is and down in the bottom middle you will see audio if you open up audio you will see you have a master bus and you can add more buses by hitting add bus and i'm gonna add a couple more so usually most people have a master one and one for music and one for sound effects now we have our checkbox you will also see that now there's a default bus layout in your files and you want to keep this in the root so you don't want to put it in some folders because for me that has stopped working when I have done that. Now we can select the control node for the scene, the root node, and we can make a new script. Select the checkbox and on the node, on signals, you wanna select toggle. You can either double click it or connect it. They both connect. A faster way is double clicking. Then we can connect it to the node with the script. And here we have our function for the toggle and I'm gonna paste it here. So we want to get the audio server and set the bus to mute. And the bus we want to set to mute is the audio server and get the bus and the bus we want to get is the master. And when it's toggled on, we're gonna mute it. And if we run it right now and we save the scene, we can check it. But uh, since we don't have any audio, we can't really tell that it's doing anything, so I'm gonna add some audio. I've now added a song, and if you double click on your song, you can make it loop if you enable loop. So I'm gonna enable loop and re-import it. Now I think we can just drag it into our scene. No, we can't. So we're gonna add a new node, and that's gonna be the audio stream player. And since this is just a 2D scene, we don't need any 3D audio. We can just add a regular one or the 2D one. Now on the audio stream player, go into the inspector tab and we can drag in our audio to the stream and we can and we can set it to autoplay. Next we want to set the bus and it's already set to the master bus but you can also set it to the music bus and the sound effects bus. How the master bus works is that so basically all audio buses are like children of the master bus. So if you mute, mute the master bus, everything else gets muted as well. So now we can play the scene and try it out. And when we toggle on our master checkbox, it stops playing. And when we uncheck it, it starts playing again. So just as expected, I'm going to close down this window and I'm going to make a couple more for the other audio buses. So it's as easy as that, just duplicate the checkboxes and disconnect the old uh, signal that it um, got when you duplicate it and connect it again. Thank you for watching. If you want to support my work, check out my Ko-Fi in the description and I'll see you in the next one.